The beginning of the camp really was almost two years ago. The players of the NHLPA came to us and said, we want to give back. And if you're going to learn about what you should be doing before a game, nutrition, uh, sports psychology, on and off ice training, our view was the best people to know from are the best hockey players in the world, those who play in the National Hockey League. On the first day of the program, all the kids flew in from uh, really coast to coast. 42 top players that we scouted and brought to Toronto, trying to reach as many young hockey players, their coaches and their parents as we possibly can. Earlier in the year, I found out that it was a possibility that uh, I would be maybe selected for the camp. The camp news was delivered to me by my mom when I was in the car, and I, I, was, pr I was in shock. Words couldn't come to my mind. I just went home, just thought about it a bit, and realized how lucky I was to be able to play. The opportunity to see the best competition out there, I can grade myself against the other players and see where I stand as uh, one of the top 42 players in Canada. It's just it's an amazing honor. When I walked in the NHLPA office, there's a bunch of pictures of a bunch of really good hockey players, um, Patrick Kane, Crosby, Ovechkin kind of pulled up beside me and said, you know, Dad, I want to have my picture on the wall as well one day. I'm going to be one of those guys on the wall, and that's my goal. You know, my response to that, of course, is, you know, through hard work, you know, you might just get your picture on that wall. It was really fascinating for me because I've never experienced that. It's amazing, and I'm excited. We did a head and shoulder shot that will be used for the TSN broadcast on Saturday. We had TSN do uh, a number of sit-down interviews. They were fitted out by Reebok with all new gear, made sure everything was good to go so that when they showed up the next morning, all that equipment would be ready for them in their stalls the next day. On day two of the camp uh, was the first day the kids actually started some of the training. Food came out and it wasn't your typical bacon and, uh, and pastries, it was uh, granola and yogurt. And there's nutrition, there's treatment, and then there's the training. And my belief is if you're not prepared to do the first two, then you might as well not do the last one. Gary was with the kids pretty much every step of the way. When you add the nutrition and the body maintenance, strength training, treatment, along with the training, you end up getting players like a Jeff Skinner or a Steve Stamkos, guys that have made that commitment on and off the ice to be the best players they can be, and trying to take advantage of every opportunity they can to learn and get better. Kids then both got on the bus, all the campers were on one bus, the parents on the other, and came to the Hershey Centre uh, for the beginning of, of their training. Once they got here, the, all the kids were split up into two teams, Team Spezza and Team Shen. The highlight so far was probably uh, walking in the dressing room, uh, looking at our new jerseys. Everybody was pretty stoked. And then we went to fitness training with Matt Nickel and that was really, really cool. Lauren Goldenberg and Matt Nickel are two individuals that have worked with Gary Roberts for a number of years. Gary credits them with having gotten his career back on track and allowing him to come back to the National Hockey League after he broke his neck. But you've got to do something to get your nervous system activated and get your core temperature up like Lauren spoke about. It was, it was so different, like the stuff we did, the plyometrics. We learned uh, how to do a dy dynamic warm-up and uh, you know, that's going to carry on to uh, what we can do during the season. Make sure you've got warm clothes to warm up. You want to have a sweat on before you go on the ice. And then we got to go on the ice with Gary Roberts and uh, Robbie Shrimp and uh, Steve Monador and those guys are just like, they're NHL players, but it just makes me realize how real my goal is. We had a number of NHL players come through here, including Aaron Johnson and BJ Crombie. Jeff Skinner and Zach Dalpe, so did Matt Stajan, and Luke's brother, Braden Shen of the Philadelphia Flyers, as well came out to work with the kids. They're real, like, they're out there on the ice with us, and they don't look like they're not human, or they don't look like they have superpowers, it's just, they're, they're normal people that work hard, and it just, it makes my goal that much greater. Jason Spetz arrived at the camp on Thursday. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. If you guys have any questions at any time, Feel free to ask me. I'm you know, a real approachable guy and just you know, enjoy it. And uh, it's a great opportunity. Backhand around. Good forehand. Have you done that stuff before? Very good. You should see how like, determined these kids are. It's awesome. You can tell they're all really excited and hungry to be here and they want to get better and they're just all ears and uh, some pretty good skill level out there. Luke Shen walked in, met the kids again. Toronto Maple Leaf. So they were psyched to meet him uh, is an understatement. Work hard out there and have fun. and. 
you guys need any help with anything, let me know or any questions. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a good time. One kid grabbed the control and said, all right, Luke, I'm going to light you up right now. Let's go. It was, a, it was a pretty light moment and a great moment for Luke to meet his team. Oh, you did get one before. Oh, oh, no. oh, 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 oh. I keep doing this, I might start scoring some goals. They're working hard right now and uh, to perform some of these stick handling drills, it's uh, pretty spectacular. So Marty Biron worked with both the goalies in the morning and he really worked with them a lot on lateral movements going back to forth. I'm going to start a book uh, on uh, those shooters right now to uh, make sure that I'm ahead of the game when, uh, when they break into the NHL. Saturday morning, game day. The kids wake up and obviously there was a, a different mood in the air. It's game day and the kids fully understood that and for them that this was a chance for the kids to shine and show what they can do uh, in front of a national television audience. I guess in getting invited to this camp was pretty special for me, being from a small town, so for me uh, that's got to be it. Once the game started, and you quickly forget that the cameras are rolling, and they just got right into their routines. Puck is dropped, and we're underway. Pull up a chair and enjoy exciting All-State, All-Canadians action right here on TSN2. Josh Hosang from Thornhill, Ontario, played with the Mississauga Rebels last year. Great stick handler, dangling, waiting, scores! Oh, baby, what a goal! A beauty from Josh Hosang, and Team Spezza spills onto the ice. It is over. Team Spezza wins in a shootout. 10-9, the official final score.